Here we go. Angry mob time. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the enslavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Earth. and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, nor... Oh. nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuran, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karjans. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of your beard. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> saying. An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Of the Nora. Oh, on the eve oh, of your proving, know the Karja sent with you. It's for the goddess. It's a joke. Oh, he's wearing a I won't let the Karja take their places. Where did he find a focus? Your what harm we join your prayers, but they will stand I tall in the sun. He's wearing a focus. Just like mine. boy. To be taken <laughs> yeah, it's like such like a like a very aloof face of your elders the mercy of your mothers with our tribe He's very united in just trade like mine. and in trust i pray that the nora may never again you're the only other person i've ever seen wearing a focus where did you get yours what a nora wearing one of these that's impossible your tribe fears the old places forbids them who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. <laughs> I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? Hmm. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected. Sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Bit bit bam bit bit bam. I wanted to ask you something else. 
if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Hmm. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew I up an outcast, as an outcast, but, you know. shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So many questions. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. Damn. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? For I mean, I'm assuming they self-improve oh, over time. Like, where do they come I from, though? Just assumed everyone knew. Looks well, the built. way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Hmm. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Would we'll take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? I know we're gonna go there because of my menus, start. but... My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. 
that you really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Oh, Yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna go there. Like... I wanna ask you about something you said reasons. before. Ask away. How do you spell Olin? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. All right. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? They fell in love at a festival. I suppose it's only fitting to part ways with another. So I guess, I mean... She, she doesn't have any concept of flirting, because the only person she ever really talked with was... Beard Dad, so... I don't know. I heard he'll ask for a mate. Aaron. Alright. Here we go! Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. This is for me. For all I did to make it here. And the answers I'll get after I win the proving. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. All right. I have some questions for him. I got punched in the face! All mother forget and all their worthless deeds. Wait. I said there's Olin. Ah, never mind. I was like, wait a minute, am I following the wrong marker here? Answer! Yes. I was. Walked right past him. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. 
A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Man, that sounds pretty fucking defensive. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Rex. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> That sounds foreboding, like you're gonna murder everybody here. But, you know. Okay. Sure, dude. Why not? Okay. It's gonna end poorly for somebody. Probably me. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> wrecked. Wrecked. Wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Do 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 right in the face. The I wish I don't know if that's a thing. Couldn't so. convince them to take you either, huh? Are you gonna let Boss talk to you that way? All I right. Wouldn't. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, Outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart, and you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an Outcast for life. Then be Don't ready to do so. Yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Why? Yeah. <laughs> the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, Not right. Your property, this bitch. is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Right! <laughs> the sass is so good. <laughs> nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. Oh. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. 
You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. She's like friendly rival. Bast is sorry, Bast is like bastard, so you know. There you go. So wrecked of your five. Your first hey man. Day in mother's heart. What He's dabbing like a five year old. Getting wrecked like a five year old. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions, that's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Baby. So I guess these are pre rendered because it's not taking my clothes into account. Because that would have been cool. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Cutscene. <laughs> oh, look Your at that. Your trophy is shattered, stuff. outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Thanks, Zala. Okay. Well, walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now that's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's oh, falling apart. Oh, baby. Better dead last than dead altogether. Says you. Make the jump. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself. Woo! 
It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. No, I'm brave to go this way, nerd. Forward now. Right there. Isn't that the point? Turn around. Who's in the lead? I can't see. The box. The baller right behind us. Right. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Make the jump. Gotta keep going. Yeah, okay. No, I was dumb. <laughs> oh, I was dumb. I was dumb. I was trying to be too fast, and I like. Did you see her crumple? That was awful. Also, my green screen shot. Gotta keep going. Come, Come on, on now. We'll Gotta fix it. Is she crazy? Faster. Stop dragging. Good. I'm gaining. Whoa. Oh, that looks so brutal. That's two to gravity. Two to gravity. That was awesome. Hurry, keep at it. Gravity two, T Rex zero. I've trained my whole life for this. They had a try, but I had the wilds. Precision, not enough. Must be perfect. Damn, this thing. Careful. Uh, like last time I ran on through something, I fell off. So can't let them beat me now. Run! She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving. Never. What? For she is a brave now. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> it's gonna be real pissed off. As are off. you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. <laughs> Ow, dude! Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we won't make it under fire. The kids should if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Oh, we're on your friends, aren't we? Oh God! Too many of them. We can't win. God damn it! Please pull. We can't hold Oh them. my God! I am the worst, apparently, at shooting human targets. Oh mother, help us! Oh my god, like that's like that's like astoundingly awful accuracy. Kill the defilers! They're too strong! All of them? We can't Who's left. Oh, none. Quick! Run for the slip wire! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Stay together! Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! Don't give up yet! How many are there? Damn. 
Damn it. I'll try to like preload my bow. Oh, nice roll, nerd. Oh, actually, that's a great roll. It's good enough. I guess I just body shot him. Keep coming. Later, dude. Uh, craft, craft, craft. Nice. So it looks like this is just Too a body shot. And they just die. Okay. That makes life a lot easier. I agree, buns. Very meow. We can't hold them! I'm doing oh, fine, man. Gotcha, fam. Now, descend while we have a chance. Oh! How do they all miss? Oh, that guy's got a minigun. Okay, I guess. Now, everyone, forward. I okay. I guess I'm not gonna have any friends, really. That missed. if I can like knock him down. Wreck, dude. I would like to loot his body. He is in like the Deathbringer gun. Okay. That's a little heavy though. Okay. So I can do that and no. Before I go off the mountain, is that okay? Just want to look everything. Not too much already. Ah, oh, it's me. Oh, okay. Oh, I could have gotten arrows this way as well. Nice. Desert glass, huh? Ooh, same color. Oh, 
Wait, no, this is where Puppet's at! No! Fuck him up! My cat's meowing. She knows it's gonna happen. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? What the f- There's a do- Uh, why is there one of the holographic doors in the place where it's like, we don't like machines? But where's my focus? are allowed inside. I, mm. I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that killer. Where are they? Why would they have bunker doors inside of a mountain? I should keep looking. 
goes nowhere. No weapons. Well, I do have three skill points, so... Hmm. Get strike from below. I just wanna be able to stealth my way through anything. Best case scenario. Before we go through that door, let's explore as much as I can. I'm not gonna find it here. So this is way. Sacred Mountain, only matriarchs can come here, but the matriarchs and everyone is like, oh, we hate the old machines, or whatever it is. But they have holographic doors. I'm picking up some kind of signal. It looks it must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. There, with the rest of my things. Okay. Restricted files. This is like holographic. All commanders, halt excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora savages. But if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. My mom? <gasps> Are you my mother? Why try to kill me just because I look like you? Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here. Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. You I'm so confused. Inside the mountain. It is easier if I show. So you. confused. Real quick. How do I? Wow, I'm out of freaking like. Complicated, please just follow me. Am I like a clone? Oh no, I'm a clone, aren't Does I? My mother look like me, but with short hair. I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. What are you talking about? Come. What 
is this place? Why is it so drafty? The great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. Okay, probably not a clone. Others, Mom probably dropped us off. Like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. 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 Poor identity scan. It's gonna the see. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister and matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. Hello, random person. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, 
It must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister. For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. I wonder if she's, like, evil. Or just a bitch. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a Seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the Sacred Land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done. Or as the need arises. go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. Hmm. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Allmother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Good plan. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. I mean... What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes, but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive, and most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No, but you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called Tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the One Goddess, All Mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight, lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. 
All right. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varro, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, and I then will. pile drive them. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. All right. So I guess now we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Hmm. All right, man. Oh, chat. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Uh, DJ Goose, thank you for five months. I love you. I'll return just a I moment. I wanted to. to dry. I wanted to really let that moment play out before I went to the bathroom and took a break. But I haven't taken a break in like two plus hours, so I'm gonna take a longer break, like three, four minutes. Uh, use the bathroom and stuff like that. If you've been here from the start, I recommend it too. This game is great. Uh, I really, really like this game. I'm excited to be released further upon the world because once again, I don't know if you guys saw this is the map. This is the map. <laughs> so, this will probably take some time. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna use the restroom and take a short break. Uh, it's the first like actual break we've had today. So yeah, thanks for being here. Love you. Ami's bathroom. Stand up. You should do the same. Be right back.